Marx Brothers had a profound effect on me as a comedian. They are louder. Louder. Hey, Doc, where are you going? I'm going to the ear doctor on deck. And they're the ones who'll teach you that um, all the rules were made to be broken. <laughs> Marx Brothers were funny and at their funniest when we were just being surprised. It was anarchy, and that's what they were dealing in. They made some kind of insane sense out of anarchic situations that they made even crazy. Are you boys giving me the runner out? Come over here. What's this? The thing about Groucho is he's one of those people that everything about him is funny. He looks funny, walks funny, sounds funny, thinks funny. On every level that you can be funny, He's funny. Groucho's uh, approach was this rapid-fire series of jokes. Well, that covers a lot of ground. Say, you cover a lot of ground yourself. You thought that was funny, this would be funny. You better beat it. I hear they're going to tear you down and put up an office building where you're standing. And if you don't like this one, here comes another one. You can leave in a taxi. If you can't get a taxi, you can leave in a huff. If that's too soon, you can leave in a minute and a huff. Those three were pretty good, but this is really the singer. You know you haven't stopped talking since I came here? You must have been vaccinated with a phonograph needle. He was trying to keep that unseen audience in stitches. Well, the Marx Brothers covered a lot of ground, comedically. You had Groucho, the verbal wise guy. You have Chico, the character. You know, I'd buy you a parachute if I thought it wouldn't open. <laughs> hey, I got parachutes. And then Harpo, who would be the crazy one. Harpo on his own because of his audacity and his fearlessness. Caused such destruction on the set and strike such fear into the hearts of so many blonde maidens. The madness, the whistling, the hunks, the horns. It's somehow uh, timeless. And poor Zeppo. Zeppo. I always wondered how Zeppo felt in that family. I married your mother because I wanted children. Imagine my disappointment when you arrived. There's also Gummo. And Rinso and uh, 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 Donner and Blitzen, too, were Marx Brothers that people forgot about. Well, all the jokes can't be good. You've got to expect that once in a while. Night of the Opera, I can watch continually. You can watch the scene in the state room. Yes? We've come to make up your room. You've got to work fast because you've got to get out in 10 minutes. The 500 people going in and out and around and about and just creating that kind of chaos. Now, every time in a crowded room, I always think about it. We're not the first. Others came before, and they came before in a giant way. We wouldn't be here, we comedians, if it weren't for all those wonderful people who made us laugh before. Harpo, Chico, Groucho, and sometimes Zeppo lend their many talents to a full day of Marx Brothers films today as our April Fool's Comedy Festival continues next on Turner Classic Movies. <laughs>